Hello, this is a Game Philosopher. Welcome to my channel where we discuss anime, manga, gaming, philosophy, politics, whatever. We discuss it all. And today is going to be the first episode of Modern Aristotelianism. And with the starting video, I would like to talk about some of the hobbies that the Aristotelian school kind of uh, encouraged people to have. And I'm not saying intellectual hobbies, but rather hobbies in general. For one, you'd have a lot of the sciences, which I will not cover as much because this is not a science channel. If you want a science ch uh, video though, uh, let me know and I will try to get in contact with the science YouTube channel and we'll talk in a collaboration effort about Aristotle and science. But for this series, we're going to be focusing on the ethics, the philosophy, logic, uh, rhetoric, everything. We're going to pretty much take Aristotle and put him in the modern times. And like the modern Platonicism, I wanted to talk about uh, different books that I recommend. And for this video, even though we're not really using it in this video, I'm recommending the Organon, especially this copy which is the uh, one that was prepared by Roger Bishop Jones. It's a wonderful book. It actually teaches you a lot about logic and reasoning, uh, inquiry, how to answer questions, how to give questions. It's a wonderful book and shows a lot of Aristotle's genius. You know, uh, you have later books like the humanist uh, Lorenzo Valla who actually criticized it on the account of not what the book said, but rather what some of the uh, followers of Aristotle of his time were doing, which I'll get to in a later video. Now, for this video, at the end of the politics, Aristotle talks about education of children. Then, when I thought about it, he was not really just talking about education, he was talking about hobbies which people could have, such as music, physical culture, and reading and writing and the like and it really fascinated me because well those things are very interesting hobbies and it seemed like stuff that a cultured gentleman would want to get into and I think that it's really interesting also when you look at some other Aristotelian Southern Aristotle like I think his name was Aristo uh, Xerxes he wrote a treatise on harmonics which anyone interested in music would love to read, probably. It was pretty much an old-fashioned uh, treatise on singing, like uh, higher notes, lower notes, you know, the pitch, all that stuff. And if you get the right uh, translation, it actually tells you a little bit about how the Greeks uh, read music and the musical terms used by the Greeks, and it's a very fascinating read as well. Now, Aristotle talked a lot about physical culture and how there's some limits to it, but how, in particular, you have courage that's developed by taking part in gymnastics. Now, when he's talking about gymnastics, he's not talking about what we see of modern gymnastics. In fact, that might give you a little bit of courage because they deal with a lot of heights. If you're afraid of heights, that might help you deal with it. But rather, the gymnastics he's talking about is martial arts and weightlifting, boxing, pancreation, wrestling, all the stuff that the Greeks did in the gymnasia. And the Greeks also did some games in the, gym, in the gymnasia too where they tossed stones at uh, different parts of their pavement. But uh, the more fascinating part is that he said he said that would cultivate courage. So, but there are some limitations to uh, physical culture, such as that physical culture does not necessarily develop your masculinity in the sense that it would also teach you intellect, because like while there is science behind uh, physical culture. Your intellect will not necessarily flourish by just looking at physical culture alone. You will just get stronger, 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 more courageous, more courageous, more courageous. And I, all you will know is this art or that art. So there's something more than that. It's 
called the mind. So I think really what Aristotle was going at when he was recommending studying music, reading, writing, and physical culture was a well-rounded individual. Well, not well-rounded in the sense that um, he has too many hobbies other than what he could deal with, but rather the well-roundedness that you get when you are more interested in these things that actually build you as a person completely and totally. In fact, I think if I were to be more into physical culture than I already am, which I am into it, I just need to start uh, actually doing it a lot more. I don't know, I could probably avoid some health problems and uh, get some aesthetic issues taken care of. Like whenever I go like this, you know, that little chin. So I think that really it's important to learn all this stuff and to pretty much help yourself to become a better person, study science, philosophy, do the reading and writing, mathematics, uh, physical culture of some sort, music, and music doesn't just imply instrumentation, you could also just do poetry unlike a lot of the modern people would think. So, yeah, I'd say go ahead, YouTube, have fun, like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell button if you like this video, and I'll see you Monday.